love which we are talking about. It is not oriented about others attitude. Uh, but you see the essence of the human being, all sentient beings, who do not want something and have the right to overcome something. So sense of concern on their way. That's a genuine love or compassion. So look, seven billion human beings, fundamental level, same human being. Then different races, different faith. Different color, or as I mentioned earlier, you see different of the situation, rich, poor, these things. This is secondary level. So, genuine love, not on secondary level, but fundamental level. So, entire humanity. Same. So, here we need a sense of oneness of self being human being. Then you can develop self concern. And then I think realistically, practically also, the world will much smaller. How much ancient time? Ancient time, I think American native people, no need bothering about Asia, about Africa, about Europe. But similarly in Asia for example, we Tibetan, surrounded by high mountains, we live it isolated. So, then don't bother what happened in other. Now that kind of situation is gone. Now everything interdependent. And for example, the global economy, no national boundary, no rich boundary, and the ecology global warming. So because of these, uh, these, these factors, now it becomes, you see, we, seven million beings, uh, must because of the unite. And in order to become unite, harmony, uh, oneness of humanity, and the individual future, depend on the rest of the humanities, be rest of the humanity happy, peaceful, individual good, maximum sort of benefit. If humanity broke, killing, violence, uh, poverty, individual cannot, no one cannot escape. So you mentioned this gap, rich and poor. It's a serious matter. We all have the same right, the same sort of absolute desire to be happy. And this gap, rich and poor, not only global level, but also national level, huge gap. So this is not only morally wrong, but practically also solves a problem. I think many violence, I think directly or indirectly, some really. So, now I want to share with you uh, something. Uh, several people be. Nobody wants trouble. At the same time, many trouble we are outside have created. That's a big contradiction. Why? We want happy life. Do not want suffering. Do not want trouble. But our action is very narrow minded, short sighted. If we look for wider, entire humanity as the same brothers and sisters, then nobody 
basis of killing. No basis, no basis of cheating. Cheating other. Actually, cheating yourself. Hunt other. Finally, you suffer. Make other happy. Finally, you get maximum benefit. Make unhappy other. Finally, you will be lonely person, miserable. May have a plenty of money, but, but in deep inside, you are lonely. Unhappy. So, use our interests more holistically. Then you will see real value in religion. There are differences. And then between theistic and non theistic, big differences. Non theistic, such as Sandhya philosophy. I think 3,000 year old Indian tradition. They say, uh, one part, no cause of no creator. Then Jainism, over 2,000 and now 600 years. One truth, one religion and concept of seven truth, seven religions. It's a contradictory. But in the terms of individual, one truth, concept of one truth, one religion is very relevant. In the terms of community or human, humanity, then obviously concept of self-truth, self-religion is there. So no contradiction. There's a social thing. So um, one can resolve this seeming contradiction by contextualizing. So one truth, one religion is in the context of each individual's own faith, and several truths and several religions is in the context of society. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Buddhist. As far as philosophical field, yes, I see a lot of contradictions from Buddhist viewpoint. But I fully accept all these many distributions really help humanity, helping the future of the family. So, plenty of reason to respect. If you respect humanity, you must respect all these different institutions. So therefore, uh, I think result, I had a lot of friends from other traditions. <laughs> if I remain isolated, then finally I suffer. Because of respect, all these institutions, sincerely, so, one occasion in Australia, uh, on my talk at the beginning, the introducer for the person that one Christian minister. So, he described, he considered me as a good Christian. <laughs> <laughs> that made me work well. I shout, no, I'm not Christian. <laughs> but he sincerely, uh, this guy, you good Christian. So then later my talk, I express, I consider you good, good Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> we have got the same time.